Hey, Calvin, uh, how's it going today? Just um, want to check in with you to see uh, about you know how when about the surgery and uh, just yeah. deal with that before we get to football and so forth. Yeah, um, yeah, it went good. Um, just minor. Um, I can walk and all that right now. Uh, I'm just taking it one day at a time. Okay, was this something from the season or or um? Why to yes. go now? Will you be ready for training camp? Yeah, I, I, like I said, I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm pretty sure I'll be ready. But, yeah, something from uh, last season. Okay, and then uh, football question on football. Uh, with Julio uh, being traded, you know, you're clearly the number one receiver now. Um, any pressure in taking on that role? No, no pressure. No pressure. No pressure at all. All right. And, uh, go ahead. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Dylan. Uh, Mike Rothstein? Yeah, hey, hey, Calvin. Sue, so, when did you get a sense that you might no longer be playing with Julio? Like, when does that happen for you that you're like, okay, th I might not be with him anymore? Um... Honestly, I was uh, really, you know, you know, in my own lane at that point. I was trying to, you know, you know, worry about me at that point. So I didn't know what was going on. Nobody told me nothing. And uh, I, I got the news when everybody else got the news. You, you said there's no that there's no pressure. How much did kind of having to not play with him for half of last season maybe make this a little bit easier in some ways? Uh. Yeah, I mean, I guess it uh, made it a lot easier, but I played with Julio, Muhammad Sanu. I mean, like, since day one, those guys, you know, I I feel like I've been, you know, moving toward that way of, uh, you know, I can do it by myself. And, I mean, obviously, I'm not by myself. We have other players who are really good. And um, But, uh, yeah, I, I felt like, I, you know, I've been ready, and I could have just – I just needed the opportunity to, you know, get in those positions. Appreciate it. Tori? Yeah. Hi, Calvin. It, the first time that we talked to you, I think it was during training camp of last year, and you you came in to that media availability and you had very specific goals in mind. I, I think I remember you saying you wanted to surpass a thousand yards. You, you wanted to be elite. I mean, now, now that you kind of have this new mantle to, to a certain extent, how did those goals shift in 2021 or maybe not even at all? Maybe it's still consistent for you. Yeah, um, definitely want to be consistent. Definitely want to establish myself as, you know, one of the best receivers in the league. And uh, and most importantly, help my team win games. I mean, really just help my team win games. But whatever, you know, whatever I have to do to, you know, help the team win, literally. And I think it was, we were talking to Ricardo Allen last year, and he had one of the best quotes that I thought. And he said, Calvin's a number one receiver. Anywhere else he goes, he just happens to be playing alongside one of the best to play the game. I mean, now that that narrative pretty much changes in 2021, does that almost kind of fuel you in a way to, to kind of be the face and leader of this receiving room in a new way? Uh, um, yeah, I mean, obviously Julio's one of the great, greatest receivers ever to play football and to come through Atlanta. I just uh, feel like I have to, you know, keep it high. And that's, you know, that's one of my goals to keep the standard here high. And uh, and with that, that goes for, you know, all the guys in my room. You know, we want to keep the standard high as like Julio and uh, Roddy White and, you know, a bunch of other guys have done through here. So, you know, that's my goal to, you know, to show the guys, you know, how it's done, how it should look you know, play my heart out and help the team get wins. Thank you. Scott? Calvin, um, as you go back and look at what you were able to do last season, do you think it was more about increased targets and and and, and opportunities? Or when you look at last season, do you think that, that you were doing certain things better? And have you been able to kind of identify um, uh, what those things were and, and how you were able to uh, improve? Yeah, um, I definitely felt like from since my rookie year and since I've been here, I've gotten better every year. And it's honestly with just confidence because I have the ability to really do whatever I want. And um, and uh, yeah, I mean, when you get a when you get a bunch of when you get uh, when you go from getting the least targets to getting the most targets, uh, I, 
and and you can play you're gonna you're gonna get stats you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get yards and you're gonna get catches and you're gonna you're just gonna you're gonna be in the mix of you know some of the better players in the league so I definitely think you know when you when you get in those situations you can uh put up numbers and stuff so which which makes you look good and stuff so there's there's obviously confidence to be gained by 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 what you were able to do. Is there off, is there also confidence in the fact that you may think, hey, I did great last year, but there's even better left in me. Is there some confidence uh, in that thinking, hey, I can do better. Um, I know that there's more out there. There's confidence in me because I know I can do better. I know the type of player I am. I know that I'm good. I know that I can. I know that I can. I know that I can play this game really well, and just there's confidence because I, I'm ready to win. I I I'm ready to win. I I really believe in my our team and the guys that we have, and uh, it's just time to you know have the city some game, win some games for the city. Steve Weish. Hey, Calvin. Um, I know, you know, like it, it's your time to really shine. You guys can be playing in 12 personnel, a lot of two tight end sets, whether one of them's flexed or whatnot. How does the structure of this offense potentially free you up, potentially maybe get some of the double teams off of you? Uh, that I don't know 100 percent yet. Uh, we got to see, you know, through camp and uh, through the first game, honestly, the first game would tell will show, you know, you guys, whatever you want to know, pretty much. But uh, I think uh, Coach Arthur is a very, very smart guy, and I think he's got a, he's going to have a great game plan every week and uh, put us in great situations, to, you know, to be the best we can be. And to follow it up, to, about double teams. I mean, look, the best guys get double teamed. I mean, do you kind of invite that? Uh, um, I haven't. I, I've been double teamed since my second year in the league. I felt like uh, that there's been a lot of games I got double teamed, and uh, I feel like I'm a good man to man player. I can play zone football. I, I feel like I'll be all right. All right. Thanks a lot, Calvin. Zach Klein. What's the one thing you'll take away from the experience of Julio most that makes you or will make you an even better player? Uh. Just seeing Julio, you know, some games come in the stadium, just it just gave me a bunch of energies. And just to try to outdo him. I used to I used to literally try to outdo him, you know, when I was on the team, when he was on the team. And I, I felt like that kept me just hungry every day, every week. And I mean, I'm still I'm gonna figure somebody, I'm gonna find somebody on the team that I can outdo every week and uh who's, you know, plays at a high level. Like Matt Ryan, maybe you know what I'm saying, and uh, just you know compete with him in my own head, and uh, and I think that'll help me. And now you know there's some young cats calling for you to outdo you and, and, and inspire them, right? Is that, do you have that type of personality to be that that guy, that that focal point? Oh uh, yeah, I mean I'm gonna lead by example. You know I'm gonna go out there and put in the work and show the guys how to do it. Oh uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm no man, listen. I'm watching right now. I'm hungry right now. I'm, 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 I want to be out. I want, I'm, I've been playing football all my life, and I always been playing. And uh, so I want to be there. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. <laughs> if that makes sense. We have time for a couple follow-ups, Dylan. Yeah, Calvin. Hey, what do you see in the rookie Kyle Pitts? And then, um. Well, how about your work with Atlanta Public Schools you've been doing this off season? Yeah, um, with, with the schools, um, uh, yeah, just going out, um, catching up with, you know, some of the kids. They A bunch of them had, like, this big test. I'm just giving them some confidence. I brought out ice cream, brought out some cars so they can check it out and uh, have a little fun, get in the cars, take pictures with the cars, me, and just, just to give them a little, you know, get out of school for 30 minutes, have a little fun. Uh, and uh, with Kyle Pitts, man, he's, he's looking great, man. I've been watching him long. Got you got real speed, and um, yeah, man, we gotta we gotta get him we gotta get him locked all the way in so he can play to the best of his abilities, and uh, we should be we should be we should have something going. Thanks. Mike. Yeah, I want to go back to the Julio thing again. Is there one thing that when you look back at the last three years that you maybe I knew you want to outdo him, right? But like, is there one thing you learned from him? 
that you kind of look back on and say, yeah, that was that was something I definitely took. Yeah, the one thing I definitely took from Julio is his confidence. Uh, just the confidence he has every week. Um, I, and being a number one receiver and going out to work every day, I feel like you have to have confidence. You have to believe in yourself. And by my second year, I, that's what I realized. Like, that's what he he's all about, confidence. So when I realized that, I just started, you know, to think that, you know, I ain't thinking I'm better than everybody, but I just believe in myself. And I think I really think that made me a better player. And I just, I really believe in myself, what I could do. Appreciate it. Tori? Yeah, I just wanted to ask kind of a football technical question, just because I know the last couple of weeks has been very heavy in the install and, and not being able to be out on the field. I mean, what did mini camp look like for you? Like, what was your day to day kind of like? Uh, the regular uh, meetings, um, treatment. Uh, I did walkthroughs. I just wasn't on the field. You just didn't see me on the field, but I was I was I'm doing I'm doing the regular. I just did a walkthrough just now before I came in here. So. I'm 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 right where those guys are. Okay, cool. Thank you. And Scott, I was just curious. Well, um, what do you think about the rest of this passing game and 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 all of the different skill players? And uh, who are you kind of most excited to see flourish um, over the course of the uh, next year? Um, some of these younger guys. Uh, anybody stand out to you? Um, even if it's, you know, Gage or somebody that that, that you have a, a experience with, who do you think is ready to take that next step? Yeah, um, I want to say uh, my group, just because um, it, I'm a rarity right now. But uh, my group, you know, we lost a big piece. And, uh, you know, everybody's, you know, thinking we're, you know, you know we can't get the job done. I just want to say my group, the whole group, I feel like, you know, we're going to, we're going to, you know, put something together and we're going to, you know, play winning football. And um, I, I just I just believe in us. <laughs> cool, Steve. Do you have one? I, I do, Calvin, because you know a lot of what Arthur Smith did in Tennessee, the offense is predicated off of the run game. When you see some of the structure of this offense, do you think that's still going to be the case here, or do you think he did that because they had Derrick Henry in the type of roster that they had? That uh it's like I said, it's early in the um installed and uh we're just, you know, they're throwing any any and everything at us right now. So I realize we haven't even put on pads, man. So we don't know, right. you know what we're the best at. So uh that I don't know. Great. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Zach. Yeah, just our first impressions of your new head coach and uh see being a little biased and showing too much love to the offensive lineman. <sighs> um I, I I love uh, Coach Arthur right now. I feel like he's uh he's holding us accountable. I mean everyone um, got a lot of you know a lot of new changes around here, which is uh which is good. And um uh yeah, I think I think everything he's doing so far is definitely gonna gonna lead to wins and lead to you know a different looking team. Cool. 